This is a University of Otago podcast. <laughs> well, when you already have said something, you want to say it again, you can't remember what I said before. I must be, have said something like, welcome, right? Well, welcome everyone. Thank you for coming. And then you've been very busy, must be, right? And you've been marking and that sort of thing. And that is why we are quite free here. That means I would like you to stay for the whole session, obviously, for the whole day, tomorrow. But I know you're busy. You have things to do, right? If you want to go and come and go, that's okay, okay? Uh, my name is Kong Wing Lai, people call me Wing. I'm chairing a working party which was set up by the uh, Senate uh, Decent Learning Advisory Board to organize events to celebrate the 30th anniversary of distance teaching and learning at the University of Otago. 30 years is a long time, a long time. So we've been doing this for 30 years under excellent leaderships, excellent teachers, excellent administrative staff, and students, of course. So we try to take this opportunity to celebrate what we have done. So in the committee, we, ha we have other members. Of course, Sarah, the director of distance learning. Um, you all know her. Uh, who else? Um, Judy Fisher from the library. Um, Karen, are you here? No? Karen from education. Penny, is Penny here? Penny Phil from Human Institutions and other members as well. Did I miss anyone? No? Uh, Sarah will be moderating the symposium. That means you will have to listen to her throughout these two days. She asks you to do one, don't do two. Okay? Just listen to her. Other than this symposium, on Monday, there will be another one in Christchurch. On Wednesday, in Wellington. On Friday, in Auckland. Most of the presentations are different. And they are all online, if you want to watch. And not only on-site presentations, there are also some virtual presentations as well. So we have a lot going on. And of course, if you look at the back, we have exhibition as well. So we have an exhibition of the history of Otago teaching and learning at a, di at a distance. And a lot of artifacts were being dug out by Judy Fisher. And our designer is Gala Hessen. You will meet her tonight. It's a lot of work put in this. And look at those carefully. And then you will know about history of distance learning and teaching at the university. And of course, not only that, we are launching a book today. Well, I launch it. This, I launch it. <laughs> and this is a book on the history of our distance learning and teaching. And also, we have some examples of our teaching programs. And also, we have three articles on research on distance learning and teaching contributed by staff and students. In your book, in your bag, that will be a copy for you to keep. Uh, make sure tonight, before you sleep, read everything. 130 pages, finish your read. This is your bedtime reading for tonight, okay? So I'm, I'm sure this book will be useful for the university and for other people as well. Of course, we are not selling it. I'm sure if we're going to sell it, I will become a millionaire. Must be, by tomorrow. Okay? <laughs> and we are hosting a dinner tonight at the staff club at 6 o'clock, 6 to 9 o'clock. I'm sure you have registered for the dinner tonight. And of course, the reason why we have dinner is for celebration, for fun, and also to honor several people who have contributed greatly to distance teaching and learning at the university. There are four people we're going to honor. Oh, there are others, but they can't come, right? But four main people for tonight. Uh, two are sitting here. Professor Paul Chubuko, that you will meet tonight. Dr. Uh, Claire Matheson, yeah, you will meet tonight. And then, of course, Professor Gareth Jones and also Dr. Uh, Rosemary Berryford. 
There are four people, they have done a lot at Otago. We want to honor them as a celebration for tonight. Okay? Now, have all this, you will be wondering, how come the big guns at the university are not here? How come the white chancellor is not here? How come the deputy white chancellor, professor, uh, women's scribe is not here? They would love to come. I know for a fact. But they are overseas at the same time today, so they can't come. But the white chancellor did a video and asked us to show you and to show your welcome. You're welcome to the whole program. Can Hello and welcome. My name is Harleen Hain, and I'm the Vice Chancellor at the University of Otago. Thank you for joining us at our Distance Learning Symposium, where we are celebrating our 30th year of providing learning by distance by focusing on teaching methods, technology, and learner support. This 30th anniversary is a testament to all those staff who've been involved in the program over the years. Together, they have enabled Otago to successfully impart specialist knowledge and expertise to our students, no matter where they are in the world. It is because of the application of these world-class teaching capabilities that distance learning at Otago has reached this impressive milestone. Here at Otago, our distance students can expect access to up-to-the-minute knowledge, guided by world-renowned experts and delivered through sophisticated learning technologies. Our distance students make a unique contribution to the university's environment. Most of our distance students are engaged in professional work and they bring those working experiences into the learning environment. Distance students also provide us the opportunity to extend the reach of the University of Otago beyond the bounds of our campuses in Dunedin, Wellington, Christchurch and Invercargill by allowing us to reach homes throughout New Zealand and the rest of the world. We currently have students from nearby countries like Australia and other parts of the South Pacific, but we also have students joining us from farther flung places like Bahrain, Nigeria, and Korea. I hope you enjoy your time at this event. On behalf of the University of Otago, I'm glad that you are able to celebrate this special occasion with us.